game. It's allowed mid one to really get back into it, that's for sure. Oh, they find Thompson though. This would be a massive kill if they can get it. Yeah, they've got the Doom out on them. Battery Salt as well as the Cog, so try to run, but the Inferno Blade is there. They'll get the kill into this Invoker. Five times free going the way of Boom. And Ooh, they maybe even though. some more. Tombstone down, Soul Binds there. Boom. Doesn't have Doom. He's already used it onto the Invoker. They're going to commit with the Inkswell. That's a two-man stun. No tail in trouble. As is said, the BKB's been committed by Boom. They've got themselves the Guardian Greaves being popped by Seven. So Spectral Dagger flies in from mid one. He'll try to help out. No tail's gone. Neither of those heroes have buyback on the side of OG. Mid one, he wants to fight, but I'm not sure this is he the fight ages. that he wants to take. He does Ooh. have the Aegis. The RP's committed on a three. Seb, can he turn this around for the side of OG? I just don't think they have the damage. They look over at Solaire. They get themselves the kill on the Grimstroke. That's at least one, but they end up losing the Magnus. Poison over committed. Mid one now needs to run. The Spirit Vessels on him. Aramis and Toby are chasing. Venomous kills are thrown out. They've got themselves Shad, and that's the first life gone from this Spectre. But nobody is here to help him. The rest of the team is gone. Mid one now, haunting, trying to jaunt them out and trying to be slippery, oh. moving around as much as he can. Can he at least get a kill on the no clock? Yes, he can. And now Thompson's back. So Thompson gets into the fight. There's the tornado as well as the EMP. Out of is Toby. He's in some trouble. The so Sunstrike comes in. It's a little bit too far, but Toby will still die. Somehow, Mid one survives with a second life, and they've taken out two. OG start to turn this. Spectral Dagger thrown at Shad. So he needs to try and get out of this, but to Thompson's right here. Oh, they don't commit. But OG somehow... Whatever he decides to go for. And this top lane, like, it, it's fine for mid one and no-tail early on in the first few waves. But when Venno starts to go a few more levels, you know, the lane starts to get a, a lot more difficult. First blood. There's first blood finally coming through. And he, he's gone for this bracer instead, which isn't a bad choice, but... Yeah, oh! like, the Jesus. damage is crazy. Like, they're, they're just spamming him out of the lane. If he has that, like, kill threat up and available. Oh, nice stroke by Celery down the bot lane. Takes a lot of the neutrals, but he might be in trouble now. They have RP. Uh, the question is, will they use it? And yeah, Seb gives it up. They've got the Sun Strike. That'll get the kill to the Grim Stroke. Shaq comes over. And, uh, not... At least it felt that way. He stopped attacking and made sure to keep the Grim Stroke stationary. But so far, so good for OG. Not, not that things are going horribly right now for Viking. No. As they look over, No-Tail Spectral Dagger comes in. The Tombstone committed. Now No-Tail low. He'll end up falling. Aramis gets the kill there. Sunstrike onto Aramis. Not going to land. However, they'll still get this kill. Soxa, he gets critted for the kill on Aramis, and it's a one-for-one -one trade oh, so far. Oh, he didn't. But mid one, taking a lot of damage, as is Soxa, and that'll force mid one to TP back home. As Seb now bottom dies to Solari, so... Yeah, I thought Toby up in the top lane would try and actually ward block the line in the trees, but... Oh no, it's Korea. Like, he did TP back to base on mid one, and they're, yeah. They're gonna go for Toby. Venomous scale did hit on a Sox, so they get the kill onto the line, but there is the Sun Strike landing on Toby, so now they've got the kill on a Venom Answer. Toby, well, his life may not be in vain as Boom comes over, lands the Doom on a mid one, the chase is there, this is and really this bad. should be a return kill to the side of Viking. We're getting a little dicey there for a second. I was actually looking at mid one's net worth, and he is very far behind Shad on the jug. He just did not farm that well up towards top. Yeah, normally we see this uh, Spectre go over mid. Inkswell gets popped, Topson in trouble. He'll end up dying to a Ramus. No time attempting the rotation, but there's the Soulbind. Two are locked up. Doom gets committed onto Lion. So, well, Sata, he'll be he might forced be in to retreat. There. He might die. Spectral Dagger thrown at Boom. How far are you going to commit for this one? Because now the Soulbind's no longer there. They've got the Shockwave RP committed. Boom will die. They don't lose Soxa. And this Especially because mid one's game is not going that well right now. Things are very Four. tough. Commits the haunt. Now the stun hits and Toby will go down mid. And what what's the build here for Spectre now that uh mid one's got the drums? Looks like he's queued up the Manta style, but what comes after? Ooh, uh, over mid, hold on. They're gonna look as finger hits Aramis and blows him up. They'll take the three times killing spree on the Toby doing a really good job of just trying to keep this mid-tier one alive as long as possible. They're dropping these serpents. Are they going to try and fight this? They've got the tornado into the EMP, so Aramis without any mana left over. The healing war comes in, and there's the Soulbind on the two. Skewer forward, but it's really not on to anybody too awesome. close. 
Aramis ends up dead. They will cover it. Solari, they could get themselves two kills at least. And they will. Solvine got committed. So did the Doom. But Viking, they failed. He did have Blink Dagger queued up. Stuff, by the way. From here to one. With the Empower. It's a lot of gold in the bank, but still. Just under 3k away from catching up to Shad. No tail with the Omni Slash bouncing around. There's the Haunt coming from the back. Solarian's in trouble as he gets it with the Cold Snap as well as the Deafening Blast. Solarian's up dead. That's going to be one gun from the side of Viking. Boom and Shad need to run, but there's the RP on a multiple heroes. The Sunstrike comes through. They'll get the kill on the Toby, and now they will go for the rest. Thompson, goes down, Thompson ends up falling. Decay from No Tail continuing to try and support his team. Mid one getting low as well. He needs to be careful with the Spectral Dagger being thrown at Shad. They'll start to retreat on the side of OG. They'll TP out No Tail. They'll get the stun on a one, but there's the Blade Fury from Shad. They catch up the Soxa. Aramis now fighting Seb. Skewer on a two, but Seb gets low and he'll end up falling. Oh. Soxa with the finger to kill Aramis before he dies. And it's a three. Apart from like the Sun Strike, because the Spectre isn't a massive damage dealer right now. Like, the mid one needs to keep scaling here. To work on these ancients, but Shad just coming over and saying, What's yours is mine, and it's no tail now in some trouble. The inkswell hits the tornado, comes through, tops and trying to do it again. But the soul mine, who is it enough? They oh, get two the no trade out Solari Doom. Can you do anything with this? The infernal blade takes out mid one and tops in. When you're playing up against this drug, you need the instant initiation with the hex. They're looking to go in, and yeah, they're going to go in with Soxa with the hook shot, but there's Spectral Dagger coming through from mid one. Struck a bait as well as the Chaos Meteor going down from top. So they're going to be Popeye Boom. Now they'll use the Haunt. Infernal Blade Dude, hits, the and they'll get the kill on the Solari as well as the Ramus. They'll buy back on the Grinstroke. They've used the Poison Nova, but Toby in a little bit of trouble as the Decay comes in from No Tail, and mid one trying to fight this Venomancer. Soxa low as well as the Mute out onto Seb on this Magnus. Boom, though, he's in trouble. No longer has the BKB. That's on cooldown for another 50 seconds. The Ink's well placed on the Grinstroke, but he's on the run with everybody here for the side of. OG, they'll get the kill, take out Solari for a second time. And because Doom doesn't have a huge amount of armor, he actually just has to run away. So like, even though Seb's completely taken out the fight, they really struggle to find any pickoffs. Ooh, RP comes through, there's the Cataclysm! But with the Skewer, it's gonna miss. They've got themselves the Omni Slash as well as the Hookshot coming through, but it's not gonna be enough just yet. They'll take out No Tail, No Tail buys back immediately, they'll get the kill on the Boom. So now without that Doom, they're in a little bit of trouble. He's gone for 52 seconds. Shad, he's already used that Omni Slash, so how much is he really worth in this engagement? But with mid one as well as Sam down, below, they're gonna be forced to TP back. And now it might be not anything from this on OG. It's, it's actually not bad for Viking. They need to wait for this Doom to be back up again. Like he's their big um, like team fighter at the moment, it feels like. Topson's getting a little bit low on mana here as well. Need one. Moving forward, has that Manta. Trying to go after Toby. There's the Meteor drop down and Toby just <laughs> gets blown up. But like, what's this Soulbind, right? Like there's no Doom up, but they, they have no play. You just have to just grab this Roche. They need to position themselves Rocket around the pitch to make sure this hook shot. And Rocket Flare comes in with the Aegis picked up by mid one. They look over Shad. Shad's in a lot of trouble. The skewer is out, but there's the Blade Fury. He won't survive. He has gone for 53 seconds. No buyback. And Seb continuing to move forward with the rest of OG as they march towards the Viking side. They'll try to TP Aramis out. But he stops the TP. Poison Nova committed. Sunstrike won't hit. The skewer is there from Seb. They'll get the kill into Toby and look over at the clockwork to try and finish off a third hook shot on a Seb. But it won't matter. They've got the finger and mid one there for a double kill. OG grab the Aegis. It's allowed mid one to really get back into it. That's for sure. Oh, they find Thompson though. This would be a massive kill if they can get it. Yeah, they've got the Doom out on them. Battery Salt as well as the Cog, so try to run, but the Infernal Blade is there. They'll get the kill into this Invoker. Five times free going the way of Boom. And Ooh, they maybe even though. some more. Tombstone down, Soul Binds there. Boom. Doesn't have Doom. He's already used it onto the Invoker. They're going to continue with the Inkswell. That's a two-man stun. No tail in trouble. As is said, the BKB's been committed by Boom. They've got themselves the Guardian Greaves being popped by Seven. So Spectral Dagger flies in from mid one. He'll try to help out. No tail's gone. Neither of those heroes have buyback on the side of OG. Mid one, he wants to fight, but I'm not sure this is the yes, fight Aegis. that he wants to take. He does Ooh. have the Aegis. The RP's committed on a three. Seb, can he turn this around with the side of OG? I just don't think they have the damage. They look over at Solari. They get themselves the kill on the Grinstroke. That's at least one, but they end up losing the Magnus. Poison over committed. Mid one now needs to run. The Spirit Vessel's on him. Aramis and Toby are chasing. Venomous is yes, going to be thrown out. They've got themselves Chad, and that's the first life gone from this Spectre. But nobody is here to help him. The rest of the team is gone. 
mid one now haunting trying to jaunt them out and trying to be slippery oh. moving around as much as he can can he at least get a kill on the no clock yes, he can. and now thompson's back so thompson gets into the fight there's the tornado as well as the emp out of is toby he's in some trouble so strike comes in it's a little bit too far but toby will still die somehow mid one survives with a second life and they've taken out two og start to turn this spectral dagger thrown at shad so he needs to try and get out of this but thompson's right here Oh, they don't commit, but OG somehow... More and more difficult now as the game goes on. Oh, yeah. And they, they smoke up. They got to try and make Radiant something happen. And they'll attack. find Sato, who stops the Ooh. TP. Oh! A little four-staff action. It won't keep him alive, but it's... Radiant's it's nice. Top tower is under attack. But here come OG. They're going to try and turn this thing. You know that they don't have the line, but they're going to try oh, and go the other oh, way with yeah. this. They'll go after Solaire, but it's only going to be a doom out of one of these heroes. They get three the sun. Inkswell well. follows it up. That's going to be on the three of these heroes. They will cover no till there's the Omni Slash mid one. He's now all by himself. So Omni Slash bouncing around. He's got himself the haunt once again. He jumps over to Aramis. He goes for the clock. The hook shot lands. Chaos Meteor down, but it's not going to be enough. They look to get mid one. He's low, as well as Seb, who continuing forward. He doesn't have the BKB or Doom to work with. Skewer away one. from Seb, but they've got the Inferno Blade. They've got the control. Can they get the kill? Yes, they can. Six times free down into the drain as mid one falls. They'll continue for more. Top center to the Ghost Hawk just to escape. They're bringing him down 100 to zero is like, almost impossible unless they RP him, pretty much. They do see him under a sentry here, but... They've got the Hex, and now they've got the stun. They'll hit the get finger, it. and they blow him up. So, Haunt moving forward, Soulbind on a two, they're gonna buy back on Boom, but the Soulbind's already been used, so they've got the hookshot coming from Aras as well as the Cogs, Abyssal Blade on a both these heroes! There's the Infernal Blade, the Doom comes in, they look over the tops, and they've got the Blade Fury right on, but there is Set with the RP! Can they get the kill on either Shad or Boom? Boom for the second time, he pops that BKB, he looks over at mid one, he's using that Infernal Blade, they get the kill on Aramis, but they lose Thompson! Thompson did for some seconds, really he's low. got buyback, mid one low, running away from Boom, but they've got the Hex coming in from Sucks, so that might save him! As well as the stun, Boom walking, but he can't find him! Is in the hands of Boom, rightfully so, because he did buy back. And now the haunt comes through from mid one. They look over as they found the Venomancer of Toby. And they get the kill. He jumps forward, looking for potentially more, but Boom already TPing out, and the rest of the team trying to evacuate from this. But Topsin in some trouble. Abyssal Blade with a hook shot. They're right on him. Oh, the newly placed sentry. Maybe he feels like the dispersion talent's not worth it because it's going to be taking off him a lot of the time anyway. Hookshot. Hookshot comes through. That hits on a set, but they've got the Hex from Saxa. <gasps> Skewer back onto the Doom. Doom's in trouble. RP comes through. Got as well the as BKB. They've got themselves the Cataclysm. The Cataclysm hits on Aramis as well. As boom, they're going to lose the first life onto the Doom. Now they look over to Shad moving in. But the He's Haunt so away from position. mid one. And now where is Boom? He's away from his team. His team is nowhere close to help him. And they... Vision control here. Spectral Dagger thrown out. Otis Orb on a mid one, boom backs off for just a second, but no tail coming over, the Venomous Scale is thrown in. There's the Blink as well as the War Stomp coming in on to this undying, no tail pops oh, immediately. The but they've got themselves the Sun as well as the Cataclysm coming through, and there's the Finger! Boom in trouble, pops the BKB, surviving for now, the Hookshot misses, Omni Slash bouncing around, they get the kill on a Boom, as well as Toby! They don't have buyback, Omni Slash will run out, and now this is Shad in trouble. There's the start coming in from Soxy, who's on the high ground, they look over at this junk, they look over at the clockwork, they'll try to chase him down, the Blade Free as well as the TP, no tornado! Oh, tornado! They'll get the kill on a Shad, they'll take out Ramis and Solari, everybody goes down on Viking, and OG may have just secured the game, because... Going at the tier fours, mid one, again, leading the charge where Viking, uh, they don't have much to throw without the Omni Slash and the Doom dead. They get that kill on a Solari, he's gone immediately, 74 seconds without buyback, Toby pops the poison over, but it's very far away from the side of OG, they've got the Soulbind in, but nothing to follow it up. So things are looking dicey, things are looking problematic for Viking, who held it so close for so long, but 41 minutes in, it seems like they've broken the bank here for OG. Yeah, and they can just, oh, hang on, hook shot. Hook shot, dust, cogs, a missile blade, and socks a low. Four staff away, and even with the spirit vessel, they just can't get the kill. The BKB's been popped by mid one. They'll use the doom out invoker. onto the invoker. They'll get the kill onto Soxus, so they'll take out one. But there's the haunt jumping back towards Shad. Shad in trouble trying to run. Aramis is dead. Mid one can't get the kill onto Shad, but he looks over at Toby and Stan and will clean the life of the Venomancer there for him. No tails gone for 94 seconds. They look over at Boom. They'll pull him in. They'll get the kill. They'll take him out. It's a double kill for mid one. The Blade Fury right on him. There's the Cataclysm coming through. Shad, you're gone. You're dead. And so are the chances of Viking taking this game. OG will take game one.